What's going on YouTube? Silver Surfer coming your way again. Another video here. Just wanted to show you guys my uh, premium bullion collection. I know I've been posting a ton of videos with uh, kind of my um, process of getting my Morgans down and silver dollars, the old constitutional dollars and stuff like that. But um, I am a fan, believe it or not, of premium uh, newer generational silver. Um, I also do stack, as I mentioned in prior videos. Uh, not a large portion of, you know, silver and gold, but I have a decent amount that's um, contributed to each month that I have a set budget for uh, on my portfolio that I, you know, believe in generational wealth establishment via commodities such as gold and silver. Um, <clears throat> I typically stick with the ASEs and maples for my silver stack, fill in rolls of those, and whatever's kind of on sale for gold as I really don't collect nor see um, a difference in, in many of it unless it's pre-33. Uh, but anyways, I want to show you guys, like I said in a prior video, that I um, was into, originally started out as a coin collector, still am probably I'd say 60% numismatist, about 40% stacker, um, but you know, I swore up and down for many years that I would never get into the newer kind of bullion stuff, but it's just so awesome looking. And uh, I wish I got into back into um, collecting coins earlier than later, but because uh, I kind of missed the boat on some of these uh, series that you see here, such as koalas and kooks and lunars and all the Perth stuff. But nonetheless, started uh, back stacking and collecting in 2016, and so I've pretty much been picking up the series. Um, and just moving forward from there, I don't plan on actually going back and retrieving the ones I don't have just because I personally don't believe the price is there for a coin that hasn't really proven itself yet to be able to, you know, be worth the collectability uh, for the price that you pay for the premium that's involved with, you know, say the, the Lunar 1 series or Lunar 2 series. Um, but I will collect them. Um, starting from when I got back into this hobby a couple of years ago forward. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I do have for my premium collection. And I'm not going to flip over to the reverses. Most of the stuff you guys have seen already. Uh, but we'll just go through as such. So I did pick up a few of the pandas. 16, 17, and 18. I believe that's the... That might be the 2015, actually. I don't know that first one. It's when they took off the one ounce. Went to the 30 grams. Um... This is the half ounce shark. I uh, got a couple of the koalas, one with the privy right there, the 2017 rooster privy. Really like those coins. I really love the kooks and koalas. They're, they're awesome coins, and I wish I started collecting those years ago, but oh well, it is what it is. I just pick them up now with, uh, you know, whenever they're good prices and continue moving forward. Really love that 2018. Sorry for the glare here, but. The 2018 one is awesome in my opinion. Did get on board the Dragon and Phoenix and Dragon and Tiger. That was a pretty neat series going on there. Picked up the Wedge Tail Eagle. Jumped on with the Emu, which I was actually watching Australia Wild the other night on Animal Planet. And those things are kind of interesting, interesting characters. <laughs> I uh, wish I got the first issue swung, but I was late to the game on that. Did you get the Bird of Paradise? Got a few of the Lunars. Really love those coins. I think, in my humble opinion, they're the most uh, nicest of all the Lunar series of any mint that's produced any of them. So I will continue to grab those. Got me a Saltwater Croc. Moving on. Australian Funnel Spider. Kangaroo. Turtle, a pretty neat round here. I really love these Somali coins too. Again, another series that if I would have started this 10, 15 years ago and I wasn't interested in this hobby as a teenager, <laughs> uh, I would have definitely jumped on board those. I love how they change every year. They're relatively inexpensive um, and they're just all around awesome. Uh, jumping up here, I did get on to the Queen's Beast on time. Didn't pay much over you know, whatever the spot was going for at that time. So I'm pretty excited for that. I do have all five. I will continue to finish the 10. I'm excited for the Falcon that's coming out here shortly. Again, another coin that I missed out on the first issue, which is pretty pricey now, the Chiwu, but 
I got the 2017 and 18. I think the Warriors on there are pretty awesome looking. Uh, moving down here, this is uh, I'm in some Gallus. The Canis is out. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, that one is just released for pre-order here on Provenant and Natmex, which I'll grab here uh, in a little while. But the British Virgin Islands Pegasus, issue one and two. Got an old prospect around there. I think I picked that up at a coin shop actually for shortly, a little bit over spot. It's pretty happy about that. Got the Cook, Ship, Fiji Great Wave, the Barbados Trident, uh, Republic of Chad Scorpion. I really love this coin too, the Nose Arc. I know it's a uh, government issued, um, super cheap and expensive. I just think it's a beautiful coin. Uh, plus being Christian, my own self, it kind of hits home. So, neat, neat coin. Got the Restrike. That one, I don't even want to show you guys the reverse on that. It has milk spotted to really, really bad. <laughs> I don't really want to show you the reverse for it. There's a Pale Horse, another um, series rounds. I just bought one of them, kind of neat. There's Ukrainian Archangel. I did get the hyped up Crew Grand 2017. Paid way too much money for it. 46 bucks when it came out, but oh well. We got one in the stack. Republic of Congo, it's a pretty neat coin. This is another neat coin. This is not really a bullion piece. This is an older, from the 70s, um, a 50 franc coin from France. Uh, it's got Hercules on there. Uh, it's pretty sweet, really wanted one of those. I found it at a coin shop. Again, barely paid over price or spot price for it. Jumped on board these series of um, animals here from Canada, but as you can see, that one at the top, 12 o'clock, and this one all over the stinking place from 9 to 12 o'clock milk spotted. So I'm a little disappointed with that. It doesn't really surprise me from the Royal Canadian Mint, however. Um, and, you know, at least they don't, they don't cost all that much of a premium at all. So it's practically like paying for a maple. So whatever. Um, this one's pretty... These two actually I got for a birthday gift here earlier in the year. I really like that antique looking uh, Indian. I think it looks awesome. And then a lot of you guys have seen this too, the Marlin. And then last but not least, got a couple more up here. The Rwanda series. The plastic's a little bent. I'm going to cut them open and pull them out because I guess there's some PVC issues going on. I haven't noticed any of the deposits from the plastic yet on my coin specifically, but uh, I don't want to take a chance. So, And they are a little pricey. You know, six, seven, eight bucks over spot. So I definitely am going to cut these open, just get some capsules for them and put them in there. But that's what I got for premium. Again, like I said, I am a collector by heart, but I do do some stacking also. And so I just wanted to show you guys what I got and what series I'm kind of following and what I plan on continuing to follow in the future, aside from my um, U.S. constitutional coinage, which is kind of my um, bread and butter. And last but not least, let's give you guys a quick little tour of my man cave coin desk here. I got my book, of course. It's kind of a classic right there. Picked up that sweet looking uh, chewing tobacco spittoon. I used to chew a lot and I ended up quitting uh, a couple years ago, so I'm happy about that. But nonetheless, this is a this is an awesome antique piece. I got it at an antique store. I was on the floor in the corner. I was like, hey, how much for this? 20 bucks? Okay, perfect. I'll take it. So, got some Chinese juggling balls, World Expo 86. Picked those up over over uh, in Singapore, actually. I got a $2 bill um, at the coin show, and I made a transaction not too long ago. Underneath that is a Turkish uh, little secret box. I got a bunch of foreign chains from around the world that I picked up, so kind of neat. Of course, every collector's got to have one of those on their table. Some other little trinkets here. It's like a Sheraton. It's not even Desert Inn. Uh, medallion on the left, some other token. I don't exactly know where I got that. I've had that since I was a kid. I'm um, in a Statue of Liberty medallion that I got when I was at the Statue of Liberty years ago. This is actually a chess set inside with all neat handcrafted little uh, pieces. Uh, this I picked up in Asia as well. A couple of German Steins, because why not? Everyone's got to have a nice cold beer sometime. I already showed you guys my bank bag there. 
Of course, I'm a fire guy who's real important with uh, getting capsules for everybody. And this was given to me as a kid, this old school bank here. So you push down the button, put the coin in the little, uh, by the golfer, and he hits it and the dude lifts up the the net for, or the, the pin. So pretty neat antique bank. So that's what I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Silver Surfer out.